everybody and welcome to Kids Create. And I'm sure you've noticed the change in the weather. So we're gonna, this month, we're gonna be reading stories about spring and animals and nature. First book is called, Is Your Mama a Llama? by Stephen Kellogg. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by your feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that is how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddie said. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a swan. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that is what llamas do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a cow. Moo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhoda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur, and you, of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one too. Yes, you're right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama, and this is the My next book is Wake Up, It's Spring by Lisa Campbell Ernst. The winter was long and cold. Then early one morning, the sun rose and warmed the earth. Wake up, old friend, it's spring, whispered the sun. And the warmed earth woke up. The earth basked in the sun's glow, then nudged its guest, the earthworm. Time to wake up, spring is here. And the earthworm woke up. The worm wiggled in the warm earth and sang to its neighbor, the seed. Spring is here, rise and shine. And the seed woke up. The seed sprouted and grew out of the earth. It called to the sleeping ladybug, wake up, spread your wings, it's spring. And the ladybug woke up. The ladybug laughed in the sunshine. It tickled the rabbit's ear as it whispered, psst, rabbit, spring is here. And the rabbit woke up. The rabbit, twitched his nose to smell the spring air. He thumped to the bird up in her nest. Out of bed, sleepyhead, it's spring. And the bird woke up. 
The bird soared from above and flew past a sleeping cat. Wake up, furry friend, the bird chirped. Spring is here. And the cat woke up. The cat stretched her legs and rubbed past the sleeping dog. Time to get up, she yawned. It's spring. And the dog woke up. The dog frisked and jumped and barked into the baby's room. Wake up, wake up, it's spring, cheered the dog. And the baby woke up. The baby stood up in her crib with a laugh and shouted to her brother and sister, out, out, spring. And the brother and sister woke up. They picked up the baby and ran to their parents' room, jumped on the bed and shouted, wake up, open your eyes, spring is here, spring is here at last. And the parents woke up one eye at a time. And they all ran to dance together in the sun, the parents and the brother and sister and the baby and the dog and the cat and the bird and the rabbit and the ladybug and the seed and the worm and all the earth because it was spring. My next book is Over in the Meadow by Ezra Jack Keats. Over in the Meadow in the sand in the sun lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dig, said the mother. I dig, said the one. So he dug all day in the sand in the sun. Over in the meadow, in the hole in the tree, lived a mother bluebird and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother. We sing, said the three, and they sang and were glad in the hole in the tree. Over in the meadow, in the reeds on the shore, lived up Mother Muskrat and her little ratties four. Dive, said the mother. We dive, said the four. So they dived and they burrowed in the reeds up on the shore. Over in the meadow, in a snug beehive, lived a mother honeybee and her little honeys five. Buzz, said the mother. We buzz, said the five. So they buzzed and they hummed near the snug beehive. Over in the meadow, in a nest built of sticks, lived a black mother crow and her little crow's six. Caw, said the mother. We caw, said the six. So they cawed and they called in their nest built of sticks. Over in the meadow, where the grass is so even, lived a gay mother cricket and her little cricket seven. Chirp, said the mother, we chirp, said the seven, so they chirp cheery notes in the grass soft and even. Over in the meadow, by the old mossy gate, lived a brown mother lizard and her little lizard Bask, said the mother. We bask, said the eight. So they basked in the sun by the old mossy gate. Over in the meadow, where the clear pools shine, lived a green mother frog and her little froggies nine. Croak, said the mother. We croak, said the nine. So they croaked and they jumped where the clear pools shine. Over in the meadow, in a soft, shady glen, lived a mother firefly and her little flies ten. Shine, said the mother. We shine, said the ten. So they shone like stars in the soft, shady glen. And my last book talks about the magic of the coming of spring. It's called Abracadabra, It's Spring, and it's by Anne Sibley O'Brien. Sunshine warms a patch of snow. Hocus pocus. Where did it go? A 
a little green shoot comes into focus. Alakazam! Now it's a crocus. How could twigs turn into pillows? Presto, change out. Pussy willows. Buds on branches, tightly curled. Alabazool. Leaves unfurl. A silent sky, then birds come winging. Mumbo jumbo, noisy singing. Sticks and string look like a mess. Sim salabim, they've made a nest. Three blue eggs sit there matching. Open sesame. They start hatching. Gray cocoons hide a surprise. Abba Zaba, butterflies. Lacy blossoms, here comes a breeze. Whoosh and whoosh, confetti trees. Boots are good for winter days. Bibbidi boo, they're tossed away. Look at every bright new thing. Abracadabra, now it's spring. Well, thank you for joining me for Kids Create. And until we meet again next month, I want you to look at all the changes around you as spring comes and enjoy nature, animals, and reading. Thank you. Bye.